Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are working on the topic simulation of composite materials damage in Abacus. So join me with a few examples of how to simulate composite model with different theories of damage. Well, let's take a look at the content of this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain all the theories available in Abacus to simulate damage in composites. What are the theories for failure detection and what are the theories for progressive failure? The formulas and relationship of all theories will be stated and we will examine each one together. Failure simulation will be reformed for the shell and continuous shell elements and the differences between the two will be expressed. Also, to examine the damage model, some examples of impact with composite laminate will be expressed. To express progressive failure using the Hessian model, several examples will be simulated and the theories related to the Hessian model will be examined. Finally, the important method of examining the result in different layers and extracting data and graphs will be stated. To see this tutorial, you need to know the basics of macro modeling for composite in Abacus. The package you have is damage analysis in macro modeling of composite materials in Abacus. The next part for you could be POC composite damage initiation and progressive damage. 3D Composite Damage Initiation and Energy-Based Progressive Damage in 3D Continuum Element Damage Analysis in Woven Composite Material Introduction to how to use 3D Damage VU Mat in Undirectional Composites Introduction to how to use Woven Fabric VU Mat This package includes more than 90 minutes of tutorial video. All the tips and steps will be recorded for you with high-quality material and the best method of teaching. It also contains four common and practical examples. By learning them, you will learn all the parameters and method of composite materials damage in Abacus. Moreover, all the files of this package, all the example files, documents and much more valuable content will be provided to you with video on this package. So be sure to check out our site and our social network to access all the training materials and download it and many other tutorial packages. So let's get started. A composite laminate can fail in two basic failure modes. The first mode is that the failure occurs in laminate due to interaction between layers which is actually called delamination as you know. In the second mode, the force of tension or pressure or shear causes the failure in apply of composite individually. In this case, failure can occur in the adhesive or resin or within the reinforcement or fiber. So under different conditions, overloading leads to fiber or matrix rupture. Tension and fiber compression failure modes. Matrix tension and matrix compression failure modes. For example, in a unidirectional composite, stretching in the direction of the fiber can lead to fiber rupture. Or stretching perpendicular to the fiber can cause cracks in the matrix. This can happen in one or more layers depending on the orientation of the reinforcement. In addition, these stresses can cause the previous mode of failure or failure between layers and the lamination has reached this value. This point, according to the diagram showing green, is the starting point of failure. Now, there are two modes. Either the composite material failed instantly, which is similar to brittle materials, or the failure is accompanied by a reduction like ductile materials, and as it happens, the resistance of the material to failure decreases. In this diagram, the green dot shows the failure detection point, the yellow diagram shows the instantaneous failure, and the red diagram shows the progressive failure. 
A laminate should be designed so that its tendency for ply and delamination failure is minimized. Failure due to delamination is more insidious, as it is less predictable than ply failure. But ultimately the laminate needs to be designed not to fail. And the bicycle stress limits. And the strain base failure option defines tensile and compressive strain limits in the 1 and 2 directions and the shear strain limit in the 1-2 plane. In this simulation, a composite sheet under load with a certain function is damaged. define the values related to the core. Of course, it is clear that each of these criteria can be found in the output field section near here. In this simulation, in the same way, we do the same simulation as before, but the model is three-dimensional and uses the continuum shell. We can read the stress results in each layer. Similar to the previous example, we use the section point and the piles method. The reason the ball does not hit the surface is because the thickness of the shell field distance. If I activate by render shell thickens, you can see the impact. Workshop 4 In this simulation, we examine the impact of a sphere with a composite plane. The page is modeled as a shell. Well, the results are as you can see. This time we want to develop the previous model and use shell continuum element to simulate the cohesive properties between layers 
and also see the effect of the lamination in the result. Property, I create cohesive type property and in the cohesive menu behavior I insert the stiffness of adhesive which are elastic modules of the elasticity. The results are as you see. I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. Follow us on our social page and website. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again.